Hey, welcome to my free training on how to start and grow a high ticket online coaching business. Now, if you've ever wondered what the entire bird's eye view process of building a coaching business from scratch looks like, that's what this training is going to show you. I'm going to walk you through the five stages of starting a coaching business and what the next step is until you start earning multiple six figures as a coach. And this works for every type of coach, life coaching, relationship coaching, money coaching, fitness coaching, health coaching, spiritual coaching. As long as you want to help other people, I show you the five stages on how to build a business to monetize that passion, but also what to make sure you're doing step by step so that when you get to stage number four or five, you're not stuck because you've missed stage number one and two. So these work like steps. So in this training, I'm going to walk you through each stage. Then under each stage, I'm going to tell you exactly what the goal of that stage is. So what you need to focus on achieving and also some solutions on how to actually go and accomplish the goal in that stage as well. So by the end of the training, you're not only going to have an entire understanding of the bird's eye view of building a six figure life coaching or health coaching or wellness coaching, money coaching, but a six figure high to get online coaching business but you'll also have some ideas on what to start doing today. So by the end of the training, you'll feel good, you'll feel certain and confident in yourself. And if you also wondered as well, like, can I be a coach? Maybe you're thinking that right now. Well, in this training, you're gonna find out because I'm gonna show you step-by-step what it takes to actually figure out if you're gonna be a good coach, how to build a business around that, and what to do to scale it to your message to around the world, to clients from around the world, kind of like the Tony Robbins and all the people out there you see, how to build a business, what's their structure. I'm gonna show you that structure in this free training. So enjoy the training, just register and get in there, get a notepad and a pen, get some water next to you so you can have some fun, take some notes, and I'll see you inside. Hey everybody, my name is Armin Shafi and I built a multi six-figure life coaching business and now I'm spending my time helping other coaches build their businesses as well. So if you've ever wondered what the entire process of building a coaching business looks like, I've spent the time to actually look at what I did that helped me earn multiple six figures in my business and I put it into an order and a sequence that you can understand. So if you've ever wondered like, What's the entire journey look like? What's next from where I'm at? Maybe you're in a business right now and you started your coaching, but you're kind of stuck like, hey, I have this now, I have some clients, but I don't know what's next for me. Well, I'm gonna show you entire the entire process, the bird's eye view of what you must do in each, each stage to get to the next stage as well. So this will kind of help you out with understanding where you're at, and also what you need to do next and if you're doing it right. And if you're starting, if you're thinking of starting a business, then I'm gonna walk you through what you gotta do from from the first thing you gotta do all the way to the last thing where you're earning multiple six figures as a life coach or as a health coach, a relationship coach, a financial coach, it doesn't matter what kind of coach it is, building a coaching business, there's a fundamental principle of how you build it from scratch. So there are five stages you need to go through in order to build your coaching business the right way. And what I mean by the right way, I mean you gotta make sure you cover every single stage before you get to the next one so that you don't get stuck later on. Sometimes people like to skip a step and what happens is later down the road they get stuck at the ceiling where you might feel like this right now where you're making some money as a coach maybe you're making your first six figures but you don't know how to scale that and keep making multiple six figures and so the problem here is if you're not following this order in sequence so the first stage the first stage of of building a coaching business from scratch is simple you need to actually focus on getting clear okay so Getting clear is the first part, the first stage of growing a business for a coaching business from scratch. Now, what do I mean by get clear? So if you're not clear on, you know, a couple fundamental things in your business, it's going to be hard for you to build marketing material, sales material, um, and actually close clients because you really don't understand, you don't understand how to tell them what you do, how you help them doing all this stuff. So there's a little formula I got here for you, which is called the WWHY formula. So I'll write out right here. So WWH. Y formula. Now, these are four questions you need to learn how to answer for you to actually get clear. The first W stands for who, okay? Who do you help? If you don't know who you help, the problem is going to be that when you talk to people or when you do marketing or when you get out there and start promoting yourself, you really don't know who you're speaking to. So confusion is the enemy of success. You will not be able to build a coaching business if you're confused with who you help in the WWHY formula here. That's what I'm going to walk you through right now. The second thing you got to understand is what are you helping them do? What are you helping them do? Like what specific result are you coaching people to get? You can't just say I help people feel better or just get generally better or improve themselves. You got to get them to a specific end destination. Imagine you're a pilot. No one's going to get on your plane if they ask you, well, pilot, where are we going? And you go, well, we're going to go east. 
well, what do you mean east where? Where are you going to land? If you can't give them a definite answer of where you're going to land, they're going to be very afraid to get on your plane and you're not going to have any customers because they don't know where you're going to land. So you're going to just fall out of the sky because you ran out of fuel eventually. So that's what happens as well when you don't know what you're helping your clients do. Then you want to understand how. How do you help them do it? And by how, I mean, what is your process? You can't just say, I'm going to help you, coach you. I'm going to talk to you, ask you some questions. I mean, technically, the concept of coaching is simple. You, you're you spending time with somebody as you work with them through questions and bringing out the answers of them. I understand. But not everyone can do the same thing or else everyone would just like, what differentiates you? So you need to have a how, your specific angle, your specific angle of how you help that market get their results. So who that market is, what you help them do, how you're helping them do it. If you don't have a definite, unique process. The problem is you're just going to blend in. and You're not going to build a very big business because most people are going to say, well, every coach is the same, but that's not true. I'm not the same life coach or business coach as every other life or business coach. I am very different. So, but I've worked on getting super clear on how I'm different. And now I have a very thriving business because of that. So you got to make sure you also know how you help them. And the last one is why you, okay? So how, what, who, who do you help? What do you help them do? How do you help them do it? And why you? And this is what I'm talking about. When you just blend in with the marketplace, it's really hard to build a business because you're just going to look like every other coach. So getting clear on why you as well is very important. Now I'm going to tell you how to get clear on these things. I'm not just going to tell you what you got to do. I'm going to tell you how to do this. So the way that I teach coaches I work with um, how to get clear in this process is we do a lot of things for getting market research. The goal is here to get market research. Now, there's ways to do market research. In my program, I teach how to do an ask campaign, and I give an entire step-by-step process on ask uh, an ask campaign, a survey, the step-by-step how to follow up with people, the specific questions to ask to actually get the information you need to get clear on these questions, and a few other questions as well, which are going to equip you to build a really big coaching business. But for this video, because I don't have all the time in the world, I would spend hours with you on that. What I'm going to walk you through is a simple little concept here I want you to think about. In the beginning of every business startup, any idea, what's the first thing you do? You will go out and validate that the idea works. Why? Because you don't want to build an entire business off something you don't think will work. People won't buy it. So how do you do that? Well, you go and offer it for free first. So the key to getting clear is free coaching. Okay. You got to go out and do free coaching. Now you're like, but Armin, I thought you're showing us how to build a coaching business so I can make money. And I actually have an income from the impact I make. Yeah. 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 But in the beginning, the goal is to get clear on everything else before you can charge money. So if I'm sitting with a client, I can't even tell them to pay me $10. If I don't know how to explain who I'm helping, what I help them do, how I help them and why I'm any different, this, the, the problem becomes you can't close any sales. You might be able to get a lot of free coaching clients by just being g- generic and vague, but you won't build a business. So I use free coaching as, and let me write it down right here. So free coaching. So the way you do this, you figure this out is free coaching. Okay. So free coaching is the way you start getting market research on these questions. Okay. So when you're doing your free coaching, there's a way to do it the wrong way and the right way. A wrong way of doing free coaching is just go and help a bunch of people and you just try to talk to them and spend one hour with them on a coaching session for free and then think you're doing something. You're not really doing anything. The goal here is simple. You want to be able to answer these questions from the data you collect from the coaching. So, you know, in, in, in my actual program, when I work with coaches, I give them a criteria of things to hit in the free coaching session. So that by the end of the coaching sessions, once they've done a dozen or two dozen of them, they're so clear. They have like, they're just going to bolt to the next stage. So, you know, I have a, 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 one of my coaches in my program, her name is Gazzy, and she actually works with students with helping them mindset and finding their dream career. But she was so confused when I met her. And what I did with her, as I said, listen, how many coaching sessions have you given to people? She goes, well, I've helped a couple of people out. And I said, but that's not enough research. So what I need you to do is I'm like, I give her a goal. I'm like, go out and just coach 10 people in your topic. So you got to make sure it's in your area of expertise. Like, what do you want to do? You know, you're not going to go help a, a, a mom if your target is to help millennials, for example, or if I want to help someone with money, I'm not going to go, you know, if I want to help someone with weight loss, I'm not going to go uh, coach someone in their marriage for no reason. You got to make sure your free coaching is actually relevant to your target, your, your topic of interest, right? So you got to figure out like, what do you want to be a coach in first? And then you go out and answer all these questions in that area by giving free coaching sessions away to people in that area. Like if I'm working with um, entrepreneurs, I want to find entrepreneurs. I don't want to just help someone with a job, help them with their mindset. But if I want to help mindset with entrepreneurs, I'm going to make sure I do mindset with entrepreneurs for coaching sessions so that my data is actually valuable when I get it back. It's, 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 um, 
accurate to what I need to know about my market, not just randomly random people. And there's a big mistake people make, by the way. You go out there and coach anyone and everyone. I did the same mistake when I first started. I was life coaching everybody. And then I realized over time, well, no, who's really asking for my help? Well, the most dedicated clients I started getting that paid me we're building businesses because I can relate to them because I am an entrepreneur myself. So what happened was I started coaching people for free that were looking to build, that had a goal already to build a business. And I got really good at life coaching them to get them clear on their goals and getting them motivated for that. So I got focused on who I helped and then what I helped them do and all this stuff from free coaching. Now, Gazzy turned around and said, okay, I'm going to do 10 sessions. I'm like, in the sessions, I want you to go through a process where you start to think about who are you attracting for free coaching? What are you helping them do by the end of the session? How are you helping them do it? So what process do you walk them through? Naturally, I'm like, you're good at mindset, right? She goes, yeah. I go, so if you're good at something, you can coach someone else in it. It's simple. If you're ahead of them in steps, you can coach someone else in it. So if you're watching this right now thinking, well, I'm not good at anything. First of all, that's not true. Everyone's good at something, everybody. You just might not think it's a valuable or qualified skill to be a coach in. You know, you could be good at anything, at playing guitar. You could be a guitar coach. You literally just help people learn how to play guitar. And you know, you're not just a teacher. You help them figure out how to bring the music out of them. And you could do that because maybe you're good at that. You know, you might be really good at a lot of things that you might think, well, why would anyone pay me for this? Well, let me tell you something. For every specific thing that someone's good at, there's an entire market of people that aren't as good and they want to get good. So you becoming a coach in that field and building a program where you help people learn how to do it, you literally can earn a multiple six-figure income from showing someone how to do that. For example, uh, for me, I had no money when I started, so I can't teach people how to be successful monetarily, but what I was really good at, I, have, I, was, I had one really good skill. My really good skill was taking bad situations and turning them into something good. So I would be able to take a terrible adversity and turn it into a miracle for me by just my way of thinking. So I'm like, there's a lot of people I know in my life that are super negative. And when something bad happens, they lose faith, they lose hope. I'm like, what if I built a program or a coaching process where I can show them what I do? And I thought about what do I do? And I looked at what I do in the midst of adversities like failures and I taught that concept and that became my coaching process. So I built something called the Reborn Experience from literally walking people through how to manage their emotions in the middle of bad scenarios. So I would attract people to me that were asking, you know, how they had bad relationship issues, bad failure issues, bad self-esteem issues, but um, I would use the same process. That was my why I'm different, right? My specific process. And I walk them through by the end of it, they felt great. And so that became a skill I monetized. You might think, why would some, someone pay you to teach them how to feel good in a bad situation? First of all, because everybody feels bad in a bad situation. It's not a normal thing to feel good. But I specifically found a unique thing I'm good at and I taught that. So if, if I can build a business in six figures on that, you can build a business on a lot of different skill sets from how to manage people. If you've had a job in a corporation, if how, how to lose weight, if you lost weight before and you were overweight, how to cook well, like a cooking coach or a chef coach, that's a, that's a big market. A lot of people want to learn how to cook in specific ways. There's so many different genres of cooking that you can be the coach and the expert in. So, um, so going back to Gazzy, so she went out and she started coaching people. Okay. And she focused on these questions when she was coaching. So she was actually looking at it and she came back. She did 23 free sessions. So I'm like, you did twice as much as I asked. She goes, I know, but Armin, I'm so clear now. She goes, I'm so clear. I know exactly what I got to do to go to the next step, the next stage where I'm going to walk with you right now. And so she goes, I realized something in the sessions. I realized the same patterns keep coming up with my clients, with the people I was helping. I realized who they were, were all in, what genre, what topic. She realized all of them are mostly between 18 to 24. Most of them have pressure from society and their parents. And I know what their goals are and what their fears are and what the problems are. See, all the free coaching gave her something I, I think is more valuable than money data. Data is more valuable than money, especially when you're starting out. The more information you have from the market, more market research, more data, the more money you can make later on because you understand your market. So your strategy for selling is completely bulletproof. Now, most coaches go out there and just want to help people. They don't go through this process and they're just like, let me just help. I know I can help. And then they go broke. That was me before I figured out how to do this, getting clear on stuff. So I'm trying to save you the time. If you're starting a coaching business or you're, if you haven't done this yet, this has to be done. You need to know who you help, what you help them do specifically, how you help them do it and why you're any different. So what's your unique process? Why is it different from other processes? And the way you do that is by free coaching. Are you guys following me here? So I want to make sure that this makes sense. Gazzy got super clear. A lot of my other students get clear in my program and I built my business from first getting clear. So everything in the beginning of a coaching business is about getting clear. It's about getting clear on your messaging, your branding, your offer, just understanding why you're doing this, what you're doing, who you're doing it for, how you're doing it for them. And if you can understand that, you're already, by the way, if you just do this, 
you're already a step ahead of 90% of the coaching industry because most coaches who just decide to go help people or they buy a really expensive coaching course where they learn how to be a coach, they still don't know this. I've ha- I have students in my program who pay thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 for a coaching certification. By the way, I'm not certified. I don't have a coaching certification, but I have years of experience and results that are much more than a person with a certification. Not comparing the two, I'm just saying I got that anyways. I didn't need a certification to get started in my business. You might be watching this like, first I gotta get certified. No, you don't. First, you gotta get clear. Who do you wanna help? What do you wanna help them do? How do you wanna help them and why you're any different? And really, I, you, the fastest way to do that is by getting someone who's done that, like an expert to help you walk through it, right? So uh, I had someone in my program spend th- t- over $10,000 on the coaching course. I came in my first session with her, my first group call with her, the first thing she went through, I'm like, who do you help? She's like, oh, well, these kind of people. She's kind of new. She's like, I kind of help these people. I like this. I want to work with this person. So what do you help them exactly do? She didn't know. She's like, well, I kind of, like, she gave me a generic answer. Like, I'm going to help them with the relationships. I'm like, but what does that mean? Like, how do they know when you're done helping? What's the end result? Like, how do we know when you and them could look at each other and go, this was great. I'm done now with you. If you can't answer that, you really don't know what you help people do. And I'm like, how do you help them? She goes, well, I got these questions and things. I'm like, but have you done it enough? Have you gave results to show that? Have you coached people for free, made sure that process works? No, I haven't. Okay. So, and why are are you any different from every other coach in your field? I don't know. Well, uh, I'm like, well, that's why you're not making money. You spent over $10,000 on a coaching course thinking now you can make money and you can build a business off this, but you're struggling because you haven't done any business work. So a big misconception I'm going to walk you through right now is simple. Um, most imagine, you know, I was at a friend's house and I was at a friend's house and his mom is a mean cook, like a really good chef. She cooks some good food and I was eating. I'm like, this is delicious. And my throw, my friend throws out this idea. He goes, man, mom, you should start a restaurant. I bet everyone would come and eat. And I thought for a moment, I'm like, that's a terrible idea because just cause her, his mom is good at cooking doesn't mean she's going to be good at building a restaurant business. Cooking and building a restaurant business are two separate skill sets. Just because you're good at coaching doesn't mean you're going to build a thriving coaching business because those are two different skill sets. So here I got amazing coaches that come, that come to me for help for building their business. They're amazing at helping people. They're, their impact is good. They, they generally have the heart for the passion. They are good at something. They have zero idea on how to market, do sales, and do automation to build an actual company out of it. So that's why getting clear is so important. This is like the first step of anything. I don't know how you can start anything. I mean, I would say getting clear on everything in your life is the first step. So in the business though, it's vital because if you don't do this, every other stage after this is blank to you. You're going to be like, how do I do that? How do I do that? Well, you won't know how unless you got clear. I'm spending more time on this because this is really the most important part first before anything. And so the way we do it is ask campaigns and market research, free coaching. Free coaching is the fastest way that if you get off this video, the first thing you can do is start free coaching in the area that you want to become a coach in and start to answer these questions for yourself. Once you have these questions answered and you know exactly uh, what you need to do, then you go to the next stage. Now to get to the next stage, you need to understand that the greatest performer, greatest dancer, greatest singer in the world is nothing without an audience, right? Like it doesn't matter if, if Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player ever. If that stadium was empty, he's not the greatest basketball player in anything because nobody cares. No one's there to watch. No one's paying for the tickets. No one's paying to come watch. No one's paying for pay-per-view. It just doesn't happen. Celine Dion could be the greatest singer in the world. I'm just giving an example. I don't, I don't know if she's the greatest singer in the world, but if nobody buys tickets to come watch or no one's in the audience when she's singing, then she's a nobody. So for that reason, the second step here is to grow an audience, okay? You have to grow an audience, okay? Now, without an audience, you don't have a business. I want you to think about any business in the world. Forget about coaching for a moment. Any business, their valuation is based on the list of customers they have. If I'm gonna go buy a Walmart franchise or a, a store at a, at a corner shop, let's say, uh, you know, um, and even an online business, offline business, if I'm gonna sell, if I'm gonna buy like a 7-Eleven off the corner, well, I better know how many people come and go through that store before I invest into it. How do I know that? Because they're gonna keep track of how many people buy, how many transactions happen, and they have a list of buyers that come back regularly. So when I'm buying the business, I'm looking at the, how, how long will it take for me to get my money back based on the list of customers. Now, online business is a better example because your online business is really just focused on how large your list is. You know, Tony Robbins, for example, has over 10 million people on his list, on his email list and his audience. He can literally create a product tonight 
and tomorrow blast it to 10 million people that like what he does. And he will probably sell 100,000 copies. So you need to grow an audience, even if you're the best coach in the world. If you have nobody who is following you, you don't have an audience of, of followers and buyers that follow you because you're a coach, you're really not a coach at all. Until you have an audience, you don't have a business. So the way you grow an audience is you pretty much got to give away something for free. So it's the similar concept of a free coach here, but over here, what we do to teach, when I work with coaches to help them build and grow their audience, in my training, I show them how to create something called an audience growth funnel. Okay, so you create an audience growth funnel. Now what this works is very simple. The audience growth funnel is going to have a lead magnet. So a lead magnet. And the lead magnet is pretty much a kind of like a free thing you give away in exchange for an email or exchange for con uh, information. Now when they get that lead magnet, it's going to push them to a Facebook group. Okay, so when you ha when you have that Facebook group, there you go. <laughs> So the way that we grow an audience in uh, in my program when I work with coaches is what I do is I set up something called an audience growth funnel and then I help them, uh, I give them a blueprint on how to create a lead magnet that does convert a prospect into an actual future buyer. And you do that by priming the audience to understand kind of what you do as a coach and to kind of accept your beliefs and get them to ins inspire them to believe in what you're saying so that when it comes to buying your program or an offer that you give, they actually are interested. So the, the, by, the way you, by the way you the way you grow the group itself is you send them to a Facebook group. So I know some of you are probably watching like you do social media, spontaneous post every day, maybe post every day like Gary Vee. And like I do that as well, but that's not how I made six figures in coaching. I, I actually, I had terrible social media following when I started my business. And so you don't need a big following to, to start your business. You just gotta learn how to grow an audience, but not just any audience. I didn't grow followers on Instagram and stuff and like that made me money. No, no, no. I didn't get clients from that. I got clients when I started to hyper-focus on a closed community. So what I did is I created an audience growth funnel. And from that, I learned how to run ads. So you run ads to the audience growth funnel. They download a lab lead magnet and then you push them to a Facebook group. Now, the Facebook group is so important because I'm creating a closed community of people that are interested in specifically what I'm doing and specifically my authority of, of my expertise. And because of that, I can have, let's say 300 people in a Facebook group and that will weigh, may make me much more money, build my business much faster than if I had 100,000 followers on Instagram, specifically because those 300 are hyper-focused to being an audience towards a coach that they're interested in what they're doing. So it, even if you don't run ads, by the way, there's organic methods as well. So some, not everyone can run ads, ads. Um, there's a whole training. Uh, I give a training on how to run ads. It's important to learn how to run ads or else you can never scale your message to people around the world. But, and you don't get to like people that don't know you, you know, you can't just coach your friends and family all day. You got to get people that don't know you to become, you know, inside of your world and ads are a great way to do that. So, but, but you can also do organic traffic, like organic methods on social media that push people to the group. The whole point though, is the goal here is to create a list of future buyers and qualified prospects. So, I have, a, I have a student in my program, uh, Daniel, who helps people with stuttering. And so he himself overcame stuttering by becoming a public speaker. So he's teaching people who stutter how to overcome stuttering with public speaking. And so he created a group within two weeks following my training. He grew his group from zero to 200 people of qualified prospects that are all interested, that are people who stutter and want help with stuttering. Imagine this, what would you pay? Let me ask you a question, what would you pay to get 200 qualified prospects that are looking for exactly what you're teaching and what you're coaching on to join your group within two weeks? What would you pay for that? I pay easily five or $10,000 easily because I know even if one person or two or five people out of 200 buy my offer, I'll make all my money back and more. So. Growing an audience is important. Daniel grew an audience. Now he'd never done coaching in his life before this. Like he was, he never thought he was been in sales before this. He's done no, he's never been in this industry. He came to me trusting that my process, and my training will help him out. So he did that and he grew his audience to 200. Now, as I make this video right now, he's passed 500 people, 500 people in his group. And the engagement is insane because those 500 people outweigh 50,000 people on Instagram or thousands on your Facebook page because those people actually join a group that's by consenting, I want to learn more from Daniel from this thing he's telling me I'm joining the group to get. Does that make sense, guys? So growing an audience is important. The goal here is in this stage of your business, you wanna start creating a large list, like even if hundreds of people is good as well, it's a good start. You wanna get at least 100 to 500 people of a list in your business that are interested in your coaching and that you can actually work with. Notice, by the way, how I still haven't you know, sold anything, made anything, there's no nothing I've created yet. It's just about getting clear and then growing an audience. Now, you can't grow an audience if you're not clear. See the problem, like, if I don't know who, what, how, and why, why me, 
and I haven't done enough free coaching to know that, I can't grow an audience on an audience growth funnel lead magnet and grow them in a Facebook group. Why? Because how, what am I going to build the audience growth funnel on? What is my lead magnet going to be about? It can't be about anything generically. It can't be about what I think is important because I'm not the one paying for my service. The audience is. So you got to know what your audience wants and you based on that market research, you create the funnel, you create your, mag- your lead magnet, and then you create a group based on what they said they want. So see how free coaching is so important? I'm going to keep going back to this because this is really, this is the part that takes the most longest. But uh, if you have someone's help guiding you through how to do it, it can cut, take half the time and you get all the answers you need right away. Now, once you've grown an audience, then, and you have a list of actual qualified prospects, then you go to the third stage. And the third stage of building a coaching business is when you finally get to create your offer. Okay, this is where you create your offer. Now, I want you to pay very close attention, okay, because most coaches will go out there and they think their offer is to sell a package of sessions, or they might start setting, selling their time for a few hundred bucks an hour. You know, I remember when I started, I had no training, I had no guidance, no expert help, and I thought I was doing the right thing by selling, I was selling my coaching for a hundred bucks an hour, hundred bucks an hour, and I would sell it for three hours in blocks. So I would do $300 for one session, but it'd be three hours long, and usually it took me four hours. Imagine this, half a day, Half a day I'm spending with this person, four hours of my life, three hours of my life, quarter of my day gone for 300 bucks. Now, that sounds like a lot of money. Some people are like, damn, I'm making $100 an hour. You know, the, the highest paid professions don't even make that much. If I go to school, you know, minimum wage is 15 bucks an hour. I'm making, you know, almost eight times the amount of that money. The problem with that thinking, my friends, is that you're thinking like a minimum wage employee in a coaching business. Like, there's a reason why people in, uh, in the industry of getting jobs are not business owners because Business owners don't count their income hourly. It just doesn't work that way. You can't sit here and think, I'm gonna get $250 an hour, That's I'm gonna be rich. No, 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 that's not, because you're you're thinking like an employee, which is not bad, but you're in a business. You wanna build a business? It's not about thinking hourly. You don't calculate your time, don't sell your time, or else you're gonna be chained and shackled to, 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 to making money from exchanging your time. Literally selling pieces of your life for a little bit of money, and not even a lot, in my opinion. So. That's not an offer. Selling coaching sessions, one-on-one coaching sessions is not a business. It is a job. I'm gonna say that again. Selling coaching sessions is not a business. It's a job, okay? To build a real business around coaching, you need to have an offer that's not required for you to give your one-on-one time to somebody. That, and if you do, it should be the highest price thing you give away because it's so hard to get a hold of you. An example, you can pay 5,000 or 2,000 or $10,000 to go watch Tony Robbins in a, in, a, in a room with five to 10,000 people. I've paid, I went to date with Destiny. I paid uh, 6,000, 5,000 for that. I paid 2,000 to go to Unleash the Power Within. I paid 10,000 to go to Business Mastery. I paid to go to these seminars. But that's you getting him. He's spending uh, three days, four, di- four days, six, seven days of his life with 10,000 clients at a time. Think about that. Think about the leverage of time there. And he's probably earning 20, 10, 20, 30 million dollars in sales from that. Okay? Now check this out. If you want to get him one-on-one, you have to pay a million dollars to just get 45 minutes of his time per year times four. So you get four sessions of an hour long and he does all the homework in advance so that he shows up. I remember because I talked to a lot of people that work close with him and I've, and I've got myself, I kind of wiggled myself when I started my business into the industry and tried to figure out like who's connected and I learned a lot from learning the behind the scenes of how this works. And I even sat down with the largest seminar company in the world, Success Resources, and I, and I talked to their co-founders and I asked them questions about how Tony Robbins works with them because they fill his seminars all around the world and he's the highest paid life coach in the world. Now it's just life coaching, it, it could count to every type of coaching, but I'm giving him it as an example because he's one of the best, right? So you, he charges a million dollars to see him four times a year and there's a two year waiting list. I wanna say that again. He charges a million dollars to see you four times a year, one on one sessions, and there's a waiting list that's two years long. My point here is the highest price thing you should give away is your one-on-one time. The problem is most coaches who have no guidance, don't know what they're doing, and I was like this, start their business by giving away the most valuable thing they can offer at the lowest price. You can't do that. That's not a business you're paying. You're, you're literally building a job for yourself and a worse job than most. The only benefit from that is that you love coaching, so you love helping people. But trust me, when bills are stacking up and you have no time and you're burnt out in your business, you're not gonna be happy to help people. So you gotta take care of you first. So you gotta create an offer that's not sessions. So the wrong thing to do is to sell one-on-one sessions for a few hundred bucks or whatever, 
or to sell a package of sessions. Like I'll give you 12 sessions. So over three months we meet every week um, and you pay me two grand. And you think that's a lot of money? Think about this, you're paying, you're getting $2,000 to meet with this person 12 times in three months. How are you gonna scale that? Even if you got 10 clients like that, you only made 20 grand for three months of work. You're making like seven grand most, tops, six and a half grand a month. And you're like, that's a lot of money. But think about this, you're meeting them every single week, dealing with 10 different people's lives, 10 different people's problems. I promise you that two weeks in, you're gonna be burnt out like, why am I doing this? And, and I'm not telling you from my opinion, I'm telling you from experience. I have hundreds of coaches I've worked with in the years. And every person's problem when they're not making enough money is that they don't have an offer. They don't have an offer. Now, what is an actual offer? If sessions aren't an offer, what is? I'm gonna tell you right now. A real offer, a coaching offer, is you need to create a coaching program, okay? Coaching program. Now, what's the difference between a coaching program and a coaching session? Well, a coaching session or package, a coaching package, is I'm paying for your time. A coaching program is I'm paying for a result. I'm gonna say that again. A coaching session or a package is that I'm paying you for your time. I'm gonna see you this many times over this many months, okay? But a coaching program is I'm paying you for results. Now, who sells their time? And I'm, I'm gonna compare the two so that you understand the difference. A therapist sells their time. A psychiatrist sells their time. Doctors, mental illness doctors, they sell their time. You pay per hour. So you go, you pay $125, $150, and they see you. Now, their job is to just be there and to pretty much counsel you, okay? Now, their money is in you still having problems, so the more money they make comes from you having problems and having to come back. So the more they see you, the more money they make. Think about how reversed this compensation model is. They make more money if you have a problem for a longer time. But if you're selling a coaching program, and therapists can't sell a coaching program, but if you're selling a coaching program and you're guaranteeing a result within a certain amount of time, and they're paying you a big money, a high ticket price for that, then your entire goal is to finish the job by the time the coaching program is done. So if I'm seeing, if I'm doing a two month coaching program and you pay me like, let's say $5,000, $4,000, something high ticket, right? $10,000. And there are coaches that charge that for just two months of their work with you. But if they know by the end of the two months, you're going to solve the problem, your marriage problem, which can cost you half a million dollars in just divorce fees, right? If they know they can save you that, it's worth the $5,000 or $10,000 to pay them. If they know they can finish that by the end of two months, their goal is to do that. So they're being paid based off results, not based off their time, which is what a therapist does, which is what coaches that are not making money do. And the problem with this is you're incentivized by the wrong thing. Why would you want them to keep coming back with for sessions? I don't. I remember when I was selling my one-on-one time, even to this day, I charge a thousand dollars for my one-on-one time. If you wanted to call me right now and to get me one-on-one coaching with you, I charge a thousand dollars per hour. Why? Because I don't want you to do that. I'd rather you pay a little bit more and get an entire program where you got me every single week on, on a continuous basis. Cause that's better for your money and better for my time. We both win. But if I charge you a thousand dollars an hour, if it's so important, you'll pay, I take you seriously. I take you on. And I get it every now and then. Some people, they just ask me like, can I sit down? I go, it's a thousand bucks and they have to pay me in advance. I sit down. But why do I do it that way? Because I want to discourage you from paying me one-on-one -on -one and encourage you to buy something, a program I have that'll help you achieve the results in a better way. And in a group setting where you can learn from other people, it's better for you, better for me. But the reason why I don't like selling time is because the only way I make more money if my entire business was dependent on me selling time is if you don't fix your problem and keep coming back to me, right? Or if you keep having more problems, I'm incentivized by the wrong thing. I feel like it's kind of unethical. Like I have to sell you to buy more sessions and like, isn't my goal so that in one or two or three sessions you're done? Well, within a couple of weeks you're done. Maybe you're like, you're watching this Armin, some things take long. You know, sometimes I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, maybe a, you're a uh, life after death coach and like you lose a loved one, you got to work with them, take six months, no problem. But at least end it in six months. At least end it so the person's over within three or six months, right? If you take years, you're not really doing anything for the client. And that's what the wrong thing with the therapist model that doesn't apply in coaching. Therapy is the, its own place. Nothing wrong about that, but it doesn't apply in coaching. You can't take a therapy model and take it in coaching. You can't take an hourly minimum wage model and put it in coaching. A business of coaching, you're selling results not your time. And if you sell results, you can charge a lot more money because the results could be worth the money. Maybe they can't see six hours of your time worth the money. I could charge, I've sold $10,000 coaching programs before um, to an audience of 100, 200 people and we make $100,000 in one presentation. Why? Because 
the result is good. I, I'm selling the result. They go, if I'm paying you 10 grand and you're opening up the possibility of me earning 10 times that amount in my life or to overcome my depression or to feel good in my life finally, and that's priceless to me, they'll pay. But if I told them, pay me $10,000 to meet with me once or twice a month over 12 months, they might be like, why am I paying you 10 grand to meet with you every month? Because I'm selling off the wrong, off the wrong focus. I'm focusing on my time I'm spending them instead of the result. So I hope you understand what I'm saying here. You gotta create a coaching program. And if you really wanna make good money in, in a coaching business where you create a lifestyle off it, like I have, you have to build a high ticket coaching program. Now what's a high ticket coaching program? It's anywhere from three to $10,000 or above. So minimum three or four grand, all the way up to 10 or more is best. The sweet spot is five to 10 grand. Um, if you sell anything for less than $3,000, it's not high ticket, it's considered a low ticket. If you're two grand or less, if you're selling programs for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, you're not making any money. There's no room to play with. There's no profit margin. So you can't build a, you might be able to make an income from it, but you can't build a business off it because a business requires salary employees. You have a team behind you, all these stuff so that you can build marketing and reinvest into ads and you can't do that. So you need a coaching program, a high ticket coaching program. And the goal here in this stage of your business is that you focus on building a program that you can offer to every client you meet, every prospect you meet, instead of selling your time, you're selling results. So you can get 20 people to sign up for a $2,000 coaching program, right? And you make $40,000. And it's only gonna take you, um, let's say, uh, six weeks to fulfill the program. Well, in six weeks, you're only meeting them with them, a group call two hours a week, three hours a week, let's say two hours a week. Six weeks is only 12 hours you're spending to make $40,000. If you do the math on that, it costs a lot more per money you're making. So if you're, if you're wondering like, Armin, why would someone pay me a three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000? I haven't barely even started yet. Well, yeah, get there first. Grow the audience, grow social proof, the credibility for sure. Get results in your free coaching to show that so you can sell it. But let me tell you something I learned that changed my life forever. It's easier to sell the coaching program for $5,000 than it is to sell a coaching session for $500. And simply because when you're selling a session, you're selling time, and no matter what the price, people are gonna feel like it's too expensive because they, they, don't, they don't know what they're paying for. Why would they pay for your time? Do you see what I'm saying? Because now they're thinking hourly as well, like minimum wage, and they go, well, I get 20 bucks an hour in my job, why are you getting 500? You see the problem? You're, you're mixing and matching the wrong thinking. But you can sell a $5,000 coaching program and say, at the end of this, this is the result in the life you're gonna have. And they go, that's worth my money because they don't think about how much of time. So let me just sum this up for you in this stage. You create an offer that has nothing to do with how much time or how you're gonna get them there. You're selling the offer because you're selling the result. Now, the very key important thing of this stage is that you built the creating the offer, you create the offer based off the first two stages. A lot of coaches go out there and they try to build the offer um, after, uh, before they grow an audience or do market research and get clear. So they build a coaching program that nobody buys or that no one can buy because they have no list to sell it to. So. There's a reason why this is the third stage over here. This is the third stage for a reason because you gotta use market research and the growing the audience you have to survey them and learn what they want to create the program based off what they said they want, not based off of what you think they want. And that way you bulletproof and validate the idea that it will sell when you built the coaching program. Now, once you've created an offer and you know you have a program you can offer people and you really know something you have to sell, the obvious next step is to launch, okay? This is where you go out and actually make money now. Now, it doesn't mean you can't make money in this process. You might get people that wanna pay you uh, just to work with you a little bit here, a little bit there, that's fine. But the faster you get through this process, the more bulletproof of a business model you have so that when you launch, you actually get high paying clients, high ticket coaching clients for your high ticket coaching program. Now, here's the cool thing about this. I remember when I struggled the most, when I was a broke coach, when I was, like I call myself a broke beginner coach. When I started back then, I was a broke beginner coach. And the reason why I was broke is because I had a terrible marketing strategy. Here was my marketing strategy. I would spend 12 or 14 hours a day on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, on, on Google and forums, trying to literally post and do Facebook lives and get out there and promote myself and talk about what, I, what I'm passionate about and what I do. And I would do all this marketing on social media. And then when I wasn't on social media, I would spend hours at networking events. I would literally, I made it a professional thing. Like I would, I would specifically choose two networking events a week, a week. I would drive downtown, spend 45 minutes looking for parking, <laughs> and then spend three hours in, uh, in a networking event where my entire goal was how many conversations can I have in the shortest amount of time to get their business card so I can follow up with them later and sell them on a phone. That's cute for someone who has time on their hands, no kids, no family, and you know, 
I, I, that was me. I had time. And uh, it doesn't mean it's efficient, but that's, that's nice. But it won't work to build a business. So here's what I would do. I would spend all this time on social media and I would go to networking events. And my entire mission was now, if it was a Wednesday, the Thursday, I would get up, I'd get all the business cards, okay? i get all the business cards and then I would, I would call them one by one. And I'd be like, hey, this awkward, uncomfortable call. Like, hey, how's it going? We talked yesterday. And like, here's the thing with networking events and, and prospecting this way they know you're calling to sell. Like they know you're not just calling to have fun. And I mean, it's really, it's pretty obvious. They went to get leads and you went to get leads. Everyone's there to get leads. The problem is everyone is a shark. Nobody is actual bait. Like everyone's just there knowing they're trying to sell something. So but this is all I knew that I didn't have, I didn't understand this stuff. And so I would call these people and maybe if I was like, yeah, I would get a chance with one person where I would be like, let me give a free session to you or something. And it was just so uncomfortable. I would sell, like I would give a discovery call for free where I would talk to them. And really I was just trying to see if I can help them out. And then I would have to uncomfortably sell them at the end because they have no idea what I do, what I do, who I help and all this stuff over here. They had nothing in advance to kind of know if they should work with me or why they should work with me. So I had to take all, all that responsibility on a call. That was never came events. That was a night. It was a nightmare because I barely made sales. Maybe I sold one or two people it was just awkward. And then I went to Toastmasters clubs. I went to meetups. I went to Eventbrite events and trying to network and meet people like, Hey, my name is Arm Chaffee. I'm this kind of coach. And do you, do you deal with this? And as soon as I try to pitch, they go, you know, they walk away and it was just so bad. Like I was getting super discouraged because my launching method was terrible. My marketing and sales method to make money was terrible. Okay. Social media didn't bring me any clients because it's indirect marketing. I'm putting out content to just say, look at me. I'm not really giving anyone the direct command that like, I'm going to help you with this. So it was just bad guys. So here's how you solve this problem. Okay. You don't want to go out there and do social media and prospecting and networking stuff and just all this, this stuff that really is just a waste of your time. You're doing, you're like, it's like you're trying to hit the target over there but you're shooting this way and this way and that way and that way. That's what it feels like because the target's there. Do something directly to get you a client from that target. And the best way to do that is to get your qualified briars, which over here, by the way, when you grow an audience, they're right there. You don't have to go out to network events, social media, all this stuff to just get people to know you. You grew an audience from scratch in a group that said they want to learn from you. So when you launch, you launch to them. You launch to them the offer you made based off what they told you, based off all the clarity you got. You see how this all fits together perfectly? Okay, so here's what you do. The, the whole goal with launching is simple. You need to create a... Presentation, okay? Creating a presentation is key. And the presentation, you want it to be about um, a one-hour presentation. Okay. Now the presentation's job is simple. The presentation, one hour presentation is explaining to your audience why they need to work with you, why they need to listen to what you're saying. You inspire them to believe in what you're telling them to do. You're giving them pretty much the bird's eye view of what you're going to do with them if you work with them. And what's happening is the presentation does all the selling for you. Like I don't have to get on a call and talk to someone about how, why they need to work with me and what they want and all this stuff or like how I help them. No, no, no. They watch the presentation. They get, they get convinced on everything. They get convinced on who I know. They know who I help. They know what I help them do. They know how I help them do it. They know why I'm different. And you, there's a specific way to build a presentation to make sure it does all those things. And then by the time they're done, they either sign up and pay you or they get on a call just to learn how to play. You, you, you focus on closing. The, the presentation focuses on selling. What's the difference? Well, presentation is selling, meaning it's telling them why they need you. Closing is when you get on a call just to take a payment to answer the questions and make sure it's the right fit. Because yeah, a hundred people go watch my presentation, but it doesn't mean everyone is going to be a good fit for me. I might not want to work with some people. By the way, when you have a system set up like this, you have the luxury of choosing who you want to work with. You don't have to work with anyone that just has the money to pay you. And that's something I definitely didn't have the luxury of in the beginning of my business because I was taking anyone that could pay me. And I was starting to work with people I really didn't like. And it's like, I can coach them, but they're just hard to work with, not coachable, but because they were willing to pay me a few hundred bucks, think about that. I'd sell my happiness for two hours of my life, three hours of my life for a few hundred bucks. And it's because I didn't have a system in place. I didn't have a business. I was just a coach without a coaching business. Very important, okay? So this one hour presentation is going to filter out people who are interested and filter out people who aren't. By the time they get on a call with me, I just have to ask questions to figure out if they're the right fit for me and if I'm the right fit for them. And by the end of the call, because the presentation did all the selling for me, I just have to collect the money and get them signed up for my program. And all their answers are, to, all their objections, most of them are handled in the presentation. That's why this is awesome. Now, here's the cool thing about launching presentations, how to get out in the market and sell with the presentation. You can also automate it. 
so I've done live ones and we've done, I've done a hundred thousand, hundred fifteen thousand dollars with one simple presentation, one hour presentation from a stage, live events, and I've done it online. I've done webinars that have made tens of thousands of dollars in a day, in a week for me. Why? Because the presentation is taking care of all the selling for me. Now, here's the cool thing. You can either do a live or you can automate. You can literally put it on repeat and just run ads in traffic. All the people in your audience that are specifically to, they want your stuff, are gonna go watch the presentation and then buy the offer you just made for them based off what they want. This is how you actually build a real business, my friends. Because if you have a system, a marketing system, like a presentation, if you have a marketing system that's selling your coaching program because it's this is what you're leveraging time in the coaching program, that's in an audience of people that you are clear on that you help is specifically, now you can grow a real business. You're talking not about selling sessions or just kind of I'm a, I'm a relationship coach. No, no, no. I, I run a relationship coaching business. Very big difference. So once the goal in the launch in the uh, in the launch stage is you want to get out there and actually get paying coaching clients now. And the way you do that, the goal is to have a marketing system that is doing most of the selling and marketing for you so that you can focus on what you love to do, which is coaching. And when I set up a system like this and I start to grow my events, my online events, uh, and my selling my coaching programs through an automated marketing system and live as well, like you could do both, right? That's when I actually started to be, be able to spend 80, 90% of my time coaching clients because I had to take all my stress and all my effort and all the energy I put into marketing and getting new clients every day and, and trying to get prospects to just shifting it to, no, the marketing system's taking care of it for me. I'm just going to go focus on getting uh, the next stage. Um, but I started focusing on getting my clients results, like actually working with them. And that's what leads me to the next stage. Okay. So once you have your one hour presentation and you know for a fact that um, you have a marketing system that's selling for you, you just focus on the, the last stage, which is getting results, okay? Once you've built a marketing system that's selling from you, a one-hour presentation that does all the selling for you and you're just closing, you streamline the process for getting leads, lead generation, and sales, then you just get results. And you focus on getting your clients results. Now, why is this so important? Because you can't scale a company when you don't have proof of results. Here's why I'm saying that. When you start to go into a market that doesn't know you, they're going to be wondering, well, how do I know you can actually help me? I mean, you have all this, you have this great offer, your presentation's awesome, but what actually kills the skepticism in a marketplace? Results. It's not your certifications. It's not how many years you've been in the game. It's not how smart or good looking you are. It's not, it's not any of that. It's the results. What have you done for your clients? And first, what have you done for yourself? So in the beginning, if you have no results yet, which by the way, you should have got here, because if you're doing a bunch of free coaching, you should get results. So you use that results to sell in stage number four over here, right? So how this really works is simple. You get results, right? You're getting results simply by going out and doing what you do best. Because you're not stressed about marketing and selling and all this stuff anymore, you just focus on working with your clients. And because you do that, you, may, you become a better coach. And your clients become, they get better results because you've taken care of the business step-by-step step properly in every stage. So here, it's very simple. You wanna focus on, now, you gotta get proof of results, right? So the way you do that in this fifth stage of your business is like this. You need to collect case study testimonials. You wanna create case study testimonials. Now, a case study testimonial is simple. It's pretty much taking someone from where they were and taking them to where they wanted to go and then having an interview with them, having a text from them, having a video testimonial from them that's showing that the person is telling your audience how you helped them get that result. And when you get results like that and you have case studies and testimonials and success stories, it's so easy to close clients on the phone. So imagine this. Imagine I have a one hour presentation, right? It's talking about you know how I can help the person. They're all convinced. They're like, I wanted to work with this person. I want to work with you as a coach. Well, now they get on and they hear about the offer. Now, before they get on the offer, or when they get on the offer, sorry, I'm gonna say this again. The one hour webinar, the presentation, right? We have the results inside. So, so you might be wondering like, how do I get results in, in my presentation the first round? Well, from your free coaching. Once you've got your free coaching and you have results there, for free, see they're paying you in, in testimonials instead of money, it's more valuable. 
once you launch your actual one hour presentation, in the presentation, you're showing case studies of people that you helped. So now they're thinking, well, this obviously works because look at all these people you helped. And having like 12, 15 case study testimonials is the key here because by the time they watch the end of the presentation, they not only know all these answers over here, but also that you can do what you're saying. You're not just saying you can do it. So these proof of results over here, the case study testimonials, they get you sales. Now, once they're in your program and you got paying coaching clients in the program, you now get them results. And what happens is, is this cool little thing over here where pretty much once you're in the fifth stage of your business, you just keep doing this over and over. And why this? I like to call it a profit loop. So when you create a profit loop, you have a real business now because you're pretty much just building the business based off doing the same fourth and fifth stage over and over. You just keep doing these two steps over and over. So once you launch a program, the first ever time you do a beta version, right? You sell it out, then you get those clients results. You use the case study testimonials to do your next one hour presentation, or you just put it into a funnel, make it automated. And now the results that you keep getting, you keep refreshing the webinar and the presentation to show you more results. Every time you, you do another program, you have more results. And this just cycles, it's a profit cycle, it's a profit loop. Now you grow a company. Now here's my favorite part of this entire five stage process. That the first three over here, use red. The first three stages right here, you only do once. You only gotta do this once. You only gotta get clear once. You don't need to get clear over and over every single month. You only gotta get, uh, grow an audience once. Once you grow an audience, it grows on its own. It just keeps growing and multiplying. You only gotta create your offer once. You create one program once. And all you focus on for the rest of your time is launching and getting results with your clients. Boom, 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 boom. You create a profitable coaching business and literally you're just focused on doing what you love now. Now you can become like the Tony Robbins of the world and all these people that are out there that are super famous because their business is built. They know who, what, and how, and why. They know they have an audience. They know what their program is and their offer is. So all they focus on now is getting out there and launching themselves, doing the same presentation. I know millions of dollars are made from people that just go on and uh, book themselves to go speak at events. It's just one way of launching, by the way. Going and doing the presentation live in front of an audience, offering the program they have, getting people in, they make a ton of money, everybody gets results, their lives are changed, and then they use those results again to push their credibility that, hey, I can help you with this, why don't you buy my program the next time they do a presentation. And online business is also the exact same process of the live events business. You just literally build a, this is what I do now. You build a webinar, right? I do both. I've done seminars with six figures. I've done online with six figures. How? Because you build the presentation once. You Even this you gotta do once. Even the presentation you do once. You build once. And you don't have to, you just tweak it over time. Once you build this, it's a money generator for you. Because every time someone watches this presentation, they're going to become a client of yours. Simple. So you just focus on, you just focus on getting out there and ex getting exposure, getting more audiences, growing your audience more. That's it. Just more. Because the more people that see your presentation, the more people can join the program and get results. Guys, this is the five stages of growing, starting and growing a profitable coaching business. And especially going into high ticket coaching. If you want to build a three to $10,000 program, like that's really where profit is at. So you can take care of your family, take care of your clients and actually have enough money to make this worth your time. So I hope this training really helped you out with everything. If you can go through these five stages, then this is the way you're gonna know if you can build a business as well. Like, if you wanna build a coaching business, a real one from scratch, these are the five stages you have to go through. So if you're watching this right now and thinking, well, Armin, this seems like a lot of work. I know. We're talking about building a multiple six-figure business here in coaching and helping people. Look, if you have a desire to help people but don't know how to get paid for it, this is what you got to do. If you got a desire to grow your coaching business and you already are a coach, you maybe you have the certifications, maybe you have the qualifications, maybe you know this part, but you really simply just don't know the rest of it. Maybe, you know, you're at one of these stages, but don't know how to get to the next stage and really, or to ultimately create the profit loop in your business so that you can just start scaling and focusing on duplication instead of trying to work every, every month for the same thing. Well, maybe this is you. And if this is you, and you're actually looking to get help on building a coaching business, I want you to simply do one thing. I need you to book a call, book a call with my office and we're gonna give you a free strategy session where I can talk about your business, go into your goals, create a game plan for you based off these five stages. Now you're looking at this and going, well, are you gonna help me with all this? Yes, here's what this is from by the way. I built an entire training program 
specifically going through each one of these stages. This, these are the modules <laughs> of my program called Speak and Get Clients. Now, why is it called Speak and Get Clients? Because we focus on the most core part of your business, which is creating the presentation that is the marketing system that sells for you so you can grow your company. Without this one piece right here, you're gonna always have a job because you're always gonna have to go out there and make sales over and over again. But with this one piece of core content, this convincing content that does all the selling and marketing for you, you literally just gotta learn how to grow your audience, get more exposure, and start to close when you talk to people that are already primed for you and just focus on getting results in your coaching business. So if you want help with all this, what I want you to really do, and I need you to focus here, because you might have watched this right now, but you're like, what's next? Book a call, that's what's next. I need you to book a call. Book a call and we will speak with you and my team and my company and my community of awesome other coaches are gonna help you do all of this step by step. You wanna help with getting clear? We have an entire in-depth training on how to get clear, step by step, templates, scripts, everything you need to do on how to work with you every step through the process to make sure this is all good. And by the way, every single week in this program and speaking to clients, I literally do a coaching call with all of, with you and all the students and I make sure I help you through it. So we not only show you how to do everything step by step, step by step, but in the program on a weekly basis, I'm gonna work with you on coaching calls live with me on it to help you actually implement it and execute it so I help you do it as well. So maybe you got some wrong answers here. I look at your surveys and I go, Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. This makes sense. They go, oh, and I you, I treat you like a 50-50 business partner. So if you get on my calls, I'm pretty much going to build your coaching business with you. And imagine having me coaching your business, building your coaching business with you, right? I never had that any of that luxury when I started out. I see, I definitely didn't have the money to invest into anything. But because I got help, eventually I got help. And by going through these stages and I got an expert help, like I literally grew. I wish I would have paid for the money earlier to get a help, to get a coach to help me through this all because I wasted a lot of time trying to figure this out without having structure. And this structure helped me. So I'm going to give you the structure for you to build your business if you just book a call with my office right now so we can talk on the phone. Like you've seen enough to know that we know what we're doing in this program. We help you get clear. I help you grow an audience. I actually give you the audience growth funnel already done for you. You just download it with the email templates and email automations all done. You literally just download and you execute. That's it. You just do what we give you. Most of this is done. I show you exactly how to model one of my best performing lead magnets that got me hundreds of qualified leads for my programs. And I show you how to set up the Facebook group step by step, everything. Literally, we share our screen and we show you step by step how to do everything. Then we help you create an awesome high ticket coaching program so you can offer it and how to create an irresistible offer. Once you create your program, you want to create other elements that go with the program so that it can become a stacked offer as well. We give you an entire worksheet on that, a training, how to price your program, name your program, um, how to create the outline of your program. Everything we help you with step by step. And then my favorite part is this. I give you my most proven presentation model for selling coaching programs. I've sold 10,000 R programs, 5,000 R programs. I've sold it all you could imagine and in personal development and in business. So I've done all the range of coaching you know, uh, topics. If you're a health coach, fitness coach, uh, a relationship coach, a money coach, a spiritual coach, a life coach, it doesn't matter what kind of coach you are. If you have a desire and a passion to help others, and we're gonna help you build the presentation. I give you my proven presentation template. You download it and just fill in the blank. You can bring it on the coaching calls. I'm gonna look at your work and go, do this, do this differently, and I'm, I'm gonna fix it up for you so that your first time launching, your second time launching, it's perfected. And we help you even get results, believe it or not. In my program, I help. I give all my coaching clients um, proven template on how to get case study testimonials so they can use it for marketing. And I have an entire training in depth on how to create breakthroughs for your clients, how to actually teach lessons, program your actual, con uh, organize your content. So we take you from the first stage all the way to the next stage and beyond. How to even scale after that. Let's say a year later in your, you're in my program and now now you're just you're making too too much money for one person or two people you need to grow a team well get on the coaching calls i'll help you out with that i'll show you how to hire people how to do everything how to set up the finances of your business pretty much i'm becoming your best friend while you build this coaching business the best friend i never had when i started and it took me twice three four times the amount of time to figure this out you can do it within months by just getting all the training in like instantly if you just book a call talk to us see if we're a good fit we'll give you the training so you can start building your coaching business for real from scratch. So guys, if you don't know what to do next, book a call. If you know exactly what to do now, cause you're like, you watch this training, you're like, this makes sense, I know what I gotta do now, book a call anyways. You might as well, there's nothing to lose. If you book a call, it's free. If we get on the call and we see that it's a right fit, but you wanna do it later, sure. If you wanna do it now, great. If you think we realize it's not a good fit, great, at least we try. Napoleon Hill, I'm a student of Thinking Rich, and Napoleon Hill said once that the world can forgive you if you make a mistake, but it can never forgive you if you do nothing. Because they'll never hear about you. 
and this is equivalent to the most modern day quote we hear today, which is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So if you don't book a call, you're not even giving yourself a chance to find out if this could actually help you, if you could actually do it, if I am the right fit, if you're the right fit, I need you to book a call if you're serious about this. If you watch all the way to the end of this, that means you're serious. So book a call so we can talk. I would love to hear from you, what you got from the training and how we can help you as well. From this video, how we helped you get clear and how we can help you step-by-step step get to the next process in this business, five-stage process of building a coaching business. So if we can help you out, if you feel like I can help you and my team can, then just book a call. So we can talk together, we can talk this week, we can talk today if you want, if we have open slots. I'm giving away these sessions. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this for giving away sessions like this that I am right now. And so I just want you to book a call before calendar gets full up and you gotta wait weeks before you can talk to us as well. So make sure you go book a call right now if you want help building your high ticket online coaching business. So thank you so much for watching this free training and I'll talk to you soon.